It's Miss Melland. I hope you're doing well. I'm happy to see you. I have a new book for you. Would you like to hear it? The name of this book is Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Do you remember this one? It's one of our favorites. That's Leonardo's face. The author and illustrator of this book is Mo Willems. Our whole school loves Mo Willems. He writes such funny and good books. I can't wait to read this one. Oh look, on the back cover. There's Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Okay, let's read it. Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Leonardo was a terrible monster. How do you think he feels? Kind of lonely. He couldn't scare anyone. Look at him, he's like, Rawr! But do they look scared? No, they're like, oh, he's so cute. That's not what Leonardo's trying to do. He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. Now that's a scary monster. He wasn't big like Eleanor. She's so gargantuan. She doesn't even fit on this page. And he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. That's a strange monster. Can I show you a surprise? Look, do you see right here? It's the pigeon. Mo Willems always hides a pigeon in his book somewhere. We found it. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary, but he just wasn't. Look at him. None of it worked. One day, Leonardo had an idea. He would find the most scaredy cat kid in the whole wide world and scare the tuna salad out of him. Hmm, <gasps> that's a good plan. Leonardo researched. Look at He's looking through all the books to find a scaredy cat kid. He says, mm -mm. nope, not that one. Not that one, nope. Hmm, until he found the perfect candidate. Do you wanna see who he found? Sam. Look at these eyes. They look so scared. Leonardo snuck up on the poor, unsuspecting boy. And the monster gave it all he had! Grrr, roar! Blago, blago! Look at Sammy jumped out of his seat. Do you see him? Uh-oh. Until the little boy cried. Yes, cheered Leonardo. I did it. I finally scared the tuna salad out of someone. No, you didn't, snapped Sam. Oh, yeah, replied Leonardo. Then why are you crying? Look at them fighting. They're not being very kind to each other, are they? Oof, they're arguing. They're both angry and defensive. Hmm. Do you wanna know why Sam was crying? Look, Mo Willems wrote so many words about why Sam is crying. I'll read them. 
My mean big brother stole my action figure right out of my hands while I was still playing with it, and then he broke it on purpose, and it was my favorite toy, and I tried to fix it, but I couldn't, so I got kicked mad, and then I stubbed my toe on the same foot that I hurt last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after I got soap in my eyes trying to wash out the bird poo that my brother's cockatoo pooed on my head, and I have no friends, and my tummy hurts. Oh, poor Sam. He's having a terrible day. That's a list of a lot of problems. Hmm. What do you think Leonardo's thinking? Look at his face. He's thinking, wow, that is a bad day. That's why I'm crying. His eyes are wide. He's realizing how Sam must feel. He must feel terrible and sad. Then, Leonardo made a very big decision. He was thinking, should he be kind or should he be scary? It's okay. He hugged him. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend. Look, look how they both feel. I see a smile and they're holding hands. It looks like they both feel happy now. They have a friend to be with. Leonardo's not lonely. He doesn't feel bad for being a terrible monster. Sam isn't sad and having a bad day. Now they have each other. Oh, I love that. Let's see. But that doesn't mean he couldn't try to scare his friend every now and then. Boo! Uh, look at, now Sam is chasing Leonardo. They must have been playing a game, kind of like Tig. The end. Thanks, friends, for reading that story with me. Isn't it such a good one? I think Mo Willems is my favorite author. Okay, friends, I'll see you next time. Be well, okay?